Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this afternoon. Or it's afternoon for me, not quite certain where it is in your time zone. Um, but um, I have a Timu haul, as you can see. And it's an assortment of diamond paintings, some jewelry, some miscellaneous stuff, cross stitch. It's a little bit of everything. So hopefully you will um, enjoy it. Alrighty, so let's dive in. I do want to just take a minute just to welcome everybody in too, because I didn't do that. So welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I really hope you enjoy the content. So here goes. All right, I've got a whole bunch, bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. I'm going to give you a diamond painting first. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this. I've got my red Christmas tablecloth. I kind of like the red myself. Maybe I'll keep the red a little bit um, more often. Okay, let's show you. We're switching up from cats to dogs. And isn't he so cute? He is just adorable. Love him. My friend Cat from... Uh, Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat found this one for me because she knows I love animals. Um, this one's really, really cute. Um, I think it might be like a golden retriever is kind of what I'm thinking it is. It has 24 colors. Oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot my little straightener. Let me get my little straightener here. Okay, so this is a um, 40 by 40. And uh, it has, let's see, numbers and letters. Numbers are in numerical order. Let's get this straightened out. I think you're going to be able to see him pretty clearly, even his eyes. It's going to have a little sparkle in his eyes with a little lighter drill in the middle there. I think he's very cute. Boy, has it been cold here today? Oh my goodness. It has been freezing and it's dreary out. Um, here is the standard toolkit, although we did get a few little baggies um, and there is a plate of wax and looks like that's a two or three placer and, um, and then your diamond painting pen. If there's anything different than that, I will show you. And the drills are all um, in the little Ziploc bags. So if you'd like to kit them up that way, um, that's going to be a good one. So there we go. There is, there is my first one. Just put him off onto the side here. Now I'm just grabbing um, whatever is next in the bag. There's no particular order to this at all. So let's see what I've got here. This is a cross stitch. I have not ordered any cross stitch from Timu, so I really wanted to see what they were all about. Um, so let me just show you. This is what it's supposed to look like. Just little kitties with the sun and moon. And this is the chart, as you can see. It does come with directions. Now I can tell you just looking at it, I'm not going to keep it and I will tell you why in just a second. So the edges of this Ada are not sewed or sewn, excuse me. Um, what do they call that? Um, oh, my mind went blank. It's a special stitch that goes on this. Because what will happen without the stitching on there, it's going to fray. And I don't sew. A serger, that's what it's called, when they serge the edges. Um, so I don't have one of those. I don't want to do one of those. So I, I am not going to get it. If it would have been serged, I would have liked it. Um, I'll just show you the, 
I'm just gonna show you this real quick. But yeah, I am not gonna keep this. I'm disappointed because I, I really liked it too. So let me um, just put that off onto the side. Let's put that up there, get that out of the way. And, uh, okay, up next is another diamond painting. This is, I don't even remember, remember what I got. This is another 40 by 40. Oh yeah, I remember this one now. This is a little landscape. Same type of drill kit or um, with the little baggies in it. I'm gonna show you the thumbnail. And while I'm here, I'll just show you the drill field. You can see that there's lots of color blocking in here. Little bits of confetti too, but it's clear. I just thought it was pretty with kind of the mountain scene and the lake and the, you know, reflection on the water, of course the flowers. Is that on, what side is that on? Oh, okay. Just making certain there's like a little piece of a tag there and I wanted to make certain it wasn't on the inside next to the glue. It has 25 colors. And uh, let's see, numbers and letters. So this is another real good one I like. And I like this 40 by 40 size. It's, um, I think it's a good size. So you can see the mountains and the trees through here. There's the mountains. And of course your flowers and the reflection. I think it's it's real pretty, I like that. And I'll show you the drills. And these are all kitted up. Or in little Ziploc bags. Some people like them, they, they um, work right out of them, some don't. I thought I'd show that to you. And there's that one. Oh, you know what, I need to write Hang on a second. I do not, I need to write the numbers on it. The canvas number, because it is not on here. There we go. All right, let's get, what is next in here? Okay, next is some jewelry, and um, these should be some earrings, and these are really, really teeny tiny ones. This is kind of interesting, this box that it's in. It says to push. Okay, I'm pushing. I'm pushing, guys. Oh, isn't that weird? Oh, there it is. I got it open. Now, these are super, super tiny. Let me see if I can bring that it up close enough for you. It's actually one little moon and one little star. So you wear the star in one ear and the moon in the other. So again, it's just little. I thought it would be good for in in you know my second um, my second hole there. So there is that one, and you know I was going to tell you about my earrings. So I am super sensitive. Um, I have to wear really good um, earrings, or um, they get infected. And I did order what they called their. I think it was silver plated um, or and some of their hyperallergenic and they've been just fine. I've had no issues at all. So as you can see, I'm gonna do um, another cross stitch. And we're gonna see if this one is better. 
here is the chart, which is pretty busy, but let me show you what it's supposed to look like. Hang on just a second. It's supposed to look like this. And I have seen this in a diamond painting. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it in a cross stitch to see if there's gonna be more detail. Um, it gives, obviously, all the instructions. This gives your needles and the little puffy thing, the thimble, the thread, the threader. Now this one I'm happy with. Let me show you the edges. So can you see how the edges are surged? It's not gonna fray. So this is okay. This is not gonna fray. Um, it has 43 colors. So that's good. There's going to be more details with the colors. And they're really bright colors. Let me show you some of these. Wow. They're just really pretty. Let me flip this over onto the, onto the white so you can see it a little bit better. There, now you can see all the colors better. And then there's second second card that's going to hold more so you can see them so those are very pretty i am happy with this i will keep this one yeah i will keep this one and i did want to show you too on these type of um this type of paper i understand that it's water soluble for so if you were to get this wet um all this ink is going to come off so I wanted just to show you, tell you about that too. Okay, so let me just put that over there. We'll get that over there and we'll move on maybe to the next thing. Oh, you guys are gonna love this because I talk about this all the time too. Um, these are the socks. Um, I've ordered a couple pair. And these are compression socks. Remember I told you I had a little bit of edema or swelling in my feet and ankles. Um, and so the compression socks just um, really help with that. And they're super expensive. If you guys wear them, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I can't remember exactly how much these were. I'm thinking like $3 or something like that. And they have worked really well. And I really like the star pattern. So I got those. And I'll put all the links to everything too. And I guess why I'm doing socks, guys, we'll, we'll do another pair. I won't take these out, but you can see that they're little paw prints. Aren't those cute? Same thing, just compression socks. And they do seem to be true to size. They fit well. In fact, they appear to be the same thing that I've ordered on Amazon before. So if you need compression socks, I can highly recommend them. Okay, so let me show you my next one. Of course, I know I'm not done with cats. I keep saying I'm done, but apparently I am not. I liked this one just because it was different. Um, let me show you the thumbnail. And I think while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you the drill field. You can see lots of color blocking again. Um, very clear. This is a thinner canvas too. Just wanted to point that out. There's only 18 colors. I would love to see this in a cross stitch. That would be really easy to do in a cross stitch. And you know what? Hang on a second. Um, this is double-sided adhesive, adhesive. So this will probably go back. I don't want double-sided adhesive. And again, don't shoot the messenger on this. That's just my preference. I know a lot of people love it, and that's fine and dandy. I'm glad it works for you. Um, it doesn't work so much for me. Although this one is interesting because it has a very thin cover, just like regular, 
And it doesn't have an odor. At least I don't think so. Hang on a second. Let me smell. It only has a slight odor. I don't know why I'm straightening it because I think it's just a force of habit. Um, but I will show all of this to you just in case you guys are interested in it. It's like I know that many of you like double-sided adhesive, um, but it's not necessarily for me. It does come with your standard kit. And your colors are in the train. So you can see all the different colors. There's greens and blues and reds, teals, purple, beige, black. So it is, they, it is real nice. So there's the cat. They're getting sneaky on me with that double-sided adhesive. Okay, this I absolutely love. I cannot wait to put this on my car. I normally don't put bumper stickers or any kind of stickers on it. Um, I think I told you guys about this. I love Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. In fact, I haven't even started watching the new season yet with a new old doctor. Can you see that? It's going on the window of my car. My other ride is a TARDIS. I so like this. Yep, like it. Like it, like it. So there is that one. Let's move that off onto the side. And let's see what else I got. Oh, I got one more. And we're going to end with a diamond painting. And yes, it's another cat. Um, but I can feel this one. This is a double-sided adhesive. And I can already tell I don't like this one. So what you're seeing in the camera is like so much clearer than what I see. I see just blobbiness. I think the flowers are gonna be blobby. I think he is in a hammock. Yeah, I don't particularly care for this one. I don't like the drill filled. Um, and I definitely don't like that as double-sided adhesive. But it, this has the um, the very common, thicker cover sheet. Um, I don't have a smell, though. Um, just a very mild aroma. Maybe they've taken care of that. But that's what he's supposed to be. But I don't think he's going to come out like that. And they are in the little bags. So just if you wanted to see that. Well, I'm a little disappointed in some of these. Some I'm really happy with and some I'm not so happy with. Like I'm really kind of sad about that um, count or the cross stitch that the edges aren't surged. Um, but I'll show you what I have again. So there's this cat and I'll get the the glare off it for you. And then there's this cat. This is so weird that this is double-sided adhesive too. Super thin canvas, where this is the really thick, stiff one. Very interesting. Then there is this landscape that I'm happy with. That's gonna be nice. And then I'm really happy with my the dog. And thank you, Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat, for finding this for me. Really like it. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. Okay, so there is that. And then I'm gonna show you just really quick. Those are my paw print socks, my little star socks. And, hang on a second, I'm getting there. And then the sun and the moon earrings. I should not put them in the box. Sorry about that, guys. The 
Those are the little teeny tiny tiny earrings. I'm not going to try to put that out again, but you can kind of see there's the moon and there's the little star. So I think I'm going to like that. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, you know what? I've got one more. Hold that thought. We are not done. We are not done. Hang on just one second. I got to get it. Oh my goodness, guys, I almost forgot about this. So we are not done. We are not done. We have another diamond painting. This is not from Timu. Um, this I found at the thrift store. And it was a whopping $1.29. Um, it looks like it probably came from Timu. In fact, I have seen this before on other on other websites. Maybe Timu might be on another budget friendly. Um, but this is just a little snowman. He's a little pixelated. Looks a little more pixelated. There's the boat. A um, little more pixelated when I'm looking at it than when you're looking at it through the camera. Um, this one's 20 colors. It's one of the real stiff canvases. But for $1.29, that was a pretty good deal. I was happy when I found it. Although I'm not doing any more Christmas, I have a lot of Christmas kitted up and I need to get it. I need to get my whips done. I've got a lot of whips. So there is that. And I'll show you really quick. Here are the drills. They never really use like Christmas red. It's always more of um, like an orangey red, like a tomato red. I wish they'd use a true Christmas red. So there is that. So here's my snowman from the thrift store, $1.29. That was pretty darn good. I was happy with that. Okay, now I've got everything and I'll just show you just briefly one more time. There is the pretty dog. There's my landscape. There's my cat, my other cat. You saw the two socks. Um, I can't get the earrings out again, but there are the earrings. Um, this is the cross stitch that's gonna go back because it's not surged on the edges and I'm not going, I don't have a sewing machine to do that. So I just can't do it. Um, and then the other one I have is this beautiful cross stitch, which I'm really happy with. Now that is my Timu and thrift store haul. That's all that I have for you guys today. Thanks so much. I'm so glad that you stopped by. Happy diamond painting, happy crafting, happy cross stitching. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are, and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And um, just enjoy, you know, your time with your families. Try not to get too crazy out in the stores. Man, they are busy. They are so busy. I was in Walmart. I know I'm kind of going off on my tangent, but you know me with my squirrel thoughts. Everybody was so surly again. I mean, they were grumbling and cranky, and, and I get it. This time of year is not for everybody. Um, but I I was happy. I tried to smile. And then I ran into someone, and she was, she was singing a Christmas carol along with um, the Christmas music in the store. And I said, oh, that's wonderful that you're singing, and that means you're happy. And she goes, oh, is it bothering you? I go, oh, no, go ahead and sing. So she was singing in the middle of Walmart. But anyway, so uh, take time to take good care of yourself. Um, enjoy this busy time of the year. Stay safe. Um, but there's a lot of bugs that are going around. People have had been real sick lately. So take care. Happy diamond painting. And I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody.